My name is Chad Hembry. I'm a television producer, and this is my CF story. I grew up in a, uh, in a modest uh, home, uh, didn't have too much. Uh, uh, I, was, I was raised by a single mother uh, who had uh, myself, I was the oldest, I had a younger brother Kyle, and, uh, and my little sister Melissa, uh, who we called Missy. She, uh, she was really um, like a, uh, a bundle of, of joy, really. I could literally say I've never seen a picture with her not smiling. It's like uh, every pic if she, she knows when someone's going to snap a camera, she'll turn and smile. It was full of life, always laughing, always running around, and uh, it was just so much fun to be around. Then when I, was, uh, when I was five years old, my little sister was two at the time, and uh, maybe just before two, but uh, it was uh, this time that CF had affected my life and um, my little sister Missy was diagnosed uh, with CF. She was always in the hospital and, uh, and there was a normalcy to it. The memories I have of her, we would play uh, in a little play area, like every floor at the Phoenix Children's Hospital has their own designated little playroom with tons of toys and books. And so a lot of my memories are with Missy uh, whatever floor she was on, playing and messing around uh, in, those, in those playrooms. The number one thing I remember about my sister is just her smile and her laughter. And, uh, she, she was just a, a big bottle, bottle of joy. So it, uh, in 1991, uh, there was a day where uh, my brother and I were picked up and uh, we were brought to uh, Phoenix Children's Hospital and uh, to go see our little sister, just kind of like uh, we had always done, um, you know, nothing was out of the norm. And as I go into uh, her, her, on her floor, I can see into her room, and I saw a lot of people in there, um, at least more than usual. Uh, you know, usually there'd be mom and grandma, you know, maybe grandpa, uh, two, three people, but, um, but there were about four or five, maybe six people in there. And when I walked in, uh, I I didn't know initially what was going on, but um, but I knew something wasn't wasn't right. And then uh, you know, then I was told, uh, you know, Missy's uh, Missy's in heaven. We're going to see her again in heaven. And it, and it was at uh, uh, you know, at that point, I I I walked over. I walked over to her lifeless body and I, uh, I put my, my arms on her and like, I didn't shake her, but it was like, I, I just wanted to put my arms on her in an attempt to like to wake her up and let everyone know she's just sleeping or something, you know? And, and then I just started crying and crying like I'd never cried before. I knew my sister was sick, but death wasn't on my mind. I didn't know that that was, um, for a large part of her life could have been a, right around the corner. I just remember, you know, my mom had me on her, on her shoulder and I just buried my face right in her shoulder and, uh, and I would just, I, would, I was crying so much she'd shift me from shoulder to shoulder and I just, I drenched her, I drenched her shirt of tears. Tears were falling. I was hurting. You know, probably, probably around high school is when I kind of started getting thoughts of, you know, I, how, how can I help this fight against CF? How, how could I help families not go through what I, my family and I went through with CF? Uh, did a little online research and found um, great strides. And, um, and it was there that I, I first started uh, participating in raising funds for the, uh, the fight against cystic fibrosis because it's personal with me. Uh, CF is what took my little sister from me. You know, when, whenever her birthday passes, you know, I, I'll, I look at the calendar and, and think, man, she, she'd be 24 today. She'd be 25. But all that's ever going to be is what if. And, uh, and it's that what if uh, that I want to prevent for other families. As I said earlier, that if someone picks on, on, my, on my little sister, I'm going to beat you up. And so... So that's, that's, that's the mentality that I, I keep towards CF, you know, 
um, you mess with my little sister and now I'm going to beat you up. 